Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video now, as you can see, fresh trim, a quiet Uber at home. I uh, won't be in attendance for the match, it's not because I'm against Warnock or anything, it's purely because I'm at another event, which kind of clashes with the Borough match as well, so tomorrow night I'm actually going to go to the boxing up in Newcastle. Uh, it's a pretty big card to be fair, Eubank Jr is on it, Huey Fury and a few others. And to be fair, I booked it a while ago. So yes, we are on Peter but I won't be there, be no match day vlog. And on Wednesday night or Tuesday, I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday night or Tuesday night. Whatever day we play Barnsley, I'm working till quarter to one in the morning. So I apologise, we no match day vlogs for two games. The next game will be the home game to Birmingham City. That'll be my next last day vlog. I mean, when I look at Peter Burrows at the league table, they are second bottom. They haven't been great this season, 8 points I think in total, 7 defeats, 2 wins. You know, their season at the moment has been absolutely dire. And I'm not trying to be harsh, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just telling exactly how it is. You know, the form has been absolutely dire. They can't pick up points at the moment, they can't really pick up many wins. A couple of draws here and there, but that's about it. We're in a mess, defensively. We've got one defender who is available tomorrow, and that is Saul Bamba. All the rest are injured. Of course, they'll fly out injured against Hull. Lee Peltier, I believe, is suspended. Um, so yeah, I mean, at the moment it's a mess. You know, looking at the actual squad itself, and then of course looking at the management, and of course the fan base. The fans don't want Warnock in. Warnock wants to stay and try and do his best, which I can fully understand, which I'm fully behind. But you know, a certain section of the fans don't want Warnock in anymore, so I do fear, just like I did on this Tony Pulis, that at times, if we concede first, it gets very, very toxic. You know, it gets very, very toxic. You feel the tension, and overall you just feel the sort of gloom looming in. And you don't really want that at any point. I do understand though, you know, certain Borough fans aren't happy, and I can fully understand it, you know. We went to Hull City a few weeks ago, and we seen a dire performance. The chances that we had, three perfect chances inside the second half, which could have been put away, but to be fair to it. First half, the Porto were given two chances, put both the top of the crossbar, the Hull City took their chances and ultimately beat us 2-0, but... The scenes after the game are pretty ugly, if I'm being honest with you. There's a lot of fighting. Butter fans fighting with other Butter fans. It was just a really, really ugly scene. So tomorrow, it's it's kind of important we do get the three points. Is it a must win? I feel like it is, in a lot of ways. I feel like if we lose, the fan base is going to turn on Warnock even more. And will Warnock's future be up in Middlesbrough at any time soon if we do get beat tomorrow? I don't want to say yes, but you just never know these things in football, so... People are not in great form. We've got hardly any team playing. Um, but listen, you know, we need a win. We need a win tomorrow. I'm going to go for a butter 2 1 in the hope that we can get some goals and hope we can get three points. And hopefully, try and start with some morale and uh, you know, try and climb the table again. I'm going to keep it positive. Peterborough won't be no pushovers though, second bottom. And we're going to Derby a few weeks back. You know, they were obviously rock bottom. They could have beat us. So teams on the bottom end of the table, don't be surprised right, if they have to turn and give you a game because Blackpool did the other week and they beat us. So, as I say, you know, it won't be an easy game at all, but 2-1 butter, hopefully we get the three points and hopefully have a bit more positivity, you know, around the subject in Middlesbrough and of course around the Riverside Stadium. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.